Al Supriya, welcome to Chrome Talkies. Thank you. It's, it was a wonderful session uh, that you had inside. Thank you. Uh, one thing that everyone wants to know, and uh, and so do I, uh, being part of the public sector, how challenging is it? Because we are competing with a huge might of uh, private channels, right? So, is that a huge challenge? Uh, and do you enjoy that? Certainly. Why not? It is quite challenging. I mean, Doordarshan itself is a very, uh, uh, it's an iconic organization as we all know. And uh, it has got so many issues, challenges, right. that it is quite exciting. But I definitely would consider that it's a huge opportunity for me also to be able to serve the organization with which we have all grown up with. Right. Yeah, we've all grown up with, uh, with Doordarshan, yeah. absolutely. What, what is uh, uh, interesting to learn what drives the company that I run, right? So there are not too many approvals. Decision making happens in seconds. And they say the growth of an organization really depends on empowering people and getting them to take decisions. Do you think that's a weak point uh, being part of a government sector? Because you'll have to go through a series of approvals for any go-ahead that you give. Does that limit you by any chance? I don't think so. You see, it also depends on how you actually approach a particular uh, issue. Right. If you look at the, uh, see, one thing we must all remember that whatever we do in government, whenever we make a policy, it's not for a single individual or a single body. It is for a public good. So the policies have to be really strong. They have to be well thought out so that when you implement them, the impact of the policy is something which is for public good. So that's the underlying principle for any policy. Right. So if you think that, you know, I just take a quick decision and I decide, tomorrow you may actually be adversely impacting a large number of people. Right. So the policies have to be well framed, they have to be well documented, they have to be discussed and then only implemented. Right. So to that extent, I would say, it's a good thing, but yeah, it shouldn't also be that delayed that it loses its relevance. Yeah. So our effort is always, you know, to in that direction that we are able to do it in a quick manner. If I may ask you, um, in the private sector, most organizations in the television fraternity, the average age, employee age, would be about 35. In Doordarshan, that number would be higher, right? So the average age of uh, a particular uh, uh, staff Sorry, would, yeah. in the version is uh, you can say about 45 to 50. So yeah. most people are 50 plus because uh, Durdarshan would be completing 60 years of its existence next year. Wow. We started in 1959. But um, you know having said that we must remember that these are the professionals, whether they are engineering or they are program, they have given the best of their career and life to an organization like Doordarshan. So it's really hats off to them, salute to them that they have worked tirelessly. But you see the organization has also not been able to kind of do enough justice, I would say. And it's not today. It is over a period of the last 30, 40 years of its existence. So to cut you, do you need yeah. fresh blood? Do you need young, fresh blood? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So even these people, they these people also, they are quite motivated, but they are not being promoted regularly. But we also definitely need fresh blood, young minds, young ideas to able to ignite, yeah. you know, this iconic organization. So that is something which is very important. Are you investing in content? We are right now not investing as much as we would like to. We are investing in content, but is that investment good enough? That is the important thing. No, it's not. See, we have had several committees. We also had San Pitroda committee, yeah. which gave extensive recommendations about revamping of Prasad Bharti. Yeah. And the recommendation was that more than 30 to 40 percent of the total budget should be invested in content. At this Current level, it is only 10%. So if you look at the broadcasters around the world, right. I'm talking about public broadcasters. The BBC? More than 50 to 60% of their total budget goes, goes into content. In content, which is not the case. And with in our budget. case, it's 10%. It's as low it's as that. 10 to 10 to 15%. So there is a kind of a decision. A government, uh, you know, uh, is there with us, a ministry and Prasad Bharti, that we need to increasingly enhance our investment in content and we are on the path to do that. Right. So, uh, one thing that we would like to uh, like you to elaborate on, there is analog cable, there was analog cable, uh, but there still continues to be analog in India in certain parts of India. 
uh, there is digital now. Uh, could you explain uh, for the benefit of the audiences, what is digital transmission, digital terrestrial transmission? I'll tell you where it comes from because when we grew up, terrestrial meant you need nothing but you needed the wheel of a bicycle or an antenna yes. to get the signals and that was terrestrial. Then it became cable, then it became digital. But you've come up with digital terrestrial. Yeah. So what is digital terrestrial transmission? And you've done that in 19 stations already, I believe. Yeah. The 19 metro cities. That's right. So, um, you see, you were receiving, as you rightly said, you were receiving free to air Doodarshan uh, signals by just adjusting an antenna. Or, if there film, or if there was something, then people would go to the bed and adjust it. Yes, and they would watch an antenna or a TV. Yes, and they would adjust it. And they would say that the signal came or not. There was coordination between three people, one on the terrace, one on the side, and one inside. Absolutely. That is analog. Okay. Okay? Right. Now, the same thing is being converted into digital. Okay. So, what is the difference? That analog, it used to, you used to get only two channels, yeah. DD News and DD National. Now when we convert into digital, what happens is you no longer need that kind of an antenna. Okay. Okay. You can receive the signals very well on your Android. But do I need an antenna for that? Or? You will need a small uh, and, uh, dongle. Okay. Or in the recent phones that are coming now, it's you don't even, it's built in. It's, it's a dongle, it's like an antenna, it's an antenna basically. Yeah. So it is a chip. Right. Now, it, we have even come further. So there is a small chip which will be actually available in your phone right. and you can watch the Darshan channels just like watching any content, any other television content right. on your mobile phone and it's free. Wow, so what's the reach of DTT right now? You have any numbers? Like it's, it must be growing exponentially. I believe it's free of cost. Right? So we are we are now Super. in yeah. So we are now in 19 metro cities. You have Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Bangalore, Nagpur, all these big places. We have uh, made it extremely modern. And to tell you, it is something which is very interesting. Yeah. Aapko do channels pehle milte the. Now you will be. Did you in metro? Yeah. It was called the metro, which had uh, the the evening soaps. Exactly. And maybe one was news. If exactly. I remember exactly. Yeah. So now you will get 10 digital channels of Doodarshan. So, okay. I mean, you have uh, capacity of 10 channels. Right. Even private channels can piggy ride right. on DTT, the digital terrestrial transmission. So, if you have your mobile phone, say you are in Delhi, we have put up two digital transmitters. So, you know what? You will get 20 channels in Delhi, including Doodarshan channels, plus you can also have some private channels. And that is what I was talking about in the conference that the private channels have an opportunity now to yeah. come on the DTT platform as TRAI has recommended that they can enter into the sector. Wow. wow. Yeah. Coming back to uh, the regular linear transmission that yeah. we are working on, uh, from a lot of data that we get at Chrome, uh, we see there are a lot of violations on ground where operators who are mandated uh, to carry Doordarshan are in fact not carrying it yeah. or they are carrying it on a, in, on a wrong uh, on a wrong page or, a, or a, a wrong EPG. How do you tackle that problem? Because we are talking about some almost 3,000 uh, individual operators across the country. So, do you plan to monitor that and do you plan to uh, get some mandates done through the relevant authorities for people to ensure that they carry uh, DD on the yeah, right frequency? Yeah. You are absolutely right. So, as you said, uh, you know, it is to be mandatorily carried. It is in the gazette notification. And uh, at this point of time, we have a very manual kind of a system where people actually go to the cable operator's head end, they look at whether that guy is carrying or not, which I don't think is a professional way of looking at things at all. So, we have recently, uh, you know, come out with bids inviting the uh, experts in this sector to be able to participate and help Doodarshan yeah. bring a cutting edge technology so that it helps me to find out right. if my channel signals are being cut yeah. anywhere else in the yeah. country. Soon we should be having it. Brilliant. I yeah. think that will be a step in the right direction. One wild thought. Uh, I had a chat with uh, uh, MK Anand who runs uh, uh, Times Now and we were discussing a lot of content stickiness in news yeah. particularly depends on two factors. Right. One, the anchor. Yeah. Right, how famous and how exciting the anchor is and we know the lead channel, it's all about anchors at this point in time. And the format of storytelling, right. The format of storytelling of Doordarshan seems to be doing okay. There, there, there don't seem to be too many gaps. Would you be open to getting one lead anchor from a private channel and do a simulcast for Doordarshan and see the numbers swing? 
so you get the leading english news channel and have the same anchor anchor it on that channel and on dd and if that new english news channel is got an x share and you got a lower share right now you might see those numbers growing so would you open to something like that okay so first of all i would like to clarify this myth uh, you see we are a channel i mean dd news if you look at it is a channel which is in hindi it's yes. a mixed channel it yes. is in hindi as well as in english if you take out my english news bulletins separately right. and if you take out because we are not in a position to compare with a fully hindi channel or a fully english channel but if you take out my individual english bulletins we are on the top yeah, yeah? that is a revolution yeah. i think yeah. we should look yeah. at the yeah. data yeah. so what i'm trying to say is it's i don't agree that it is only an anchor which can no anchor is a role to do that yeah. because that's why you see all the you know, guys investing so heavily but 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 i would like to mention to you it is the credibility of the news which makes a huge which difference. makes a huge which is the only thing right. how credible is this? are you just trying to give news to people which is sensational and you want to which kind is of a huge problem i think that's plaguing us just to kind of get it for how long can you continue to you actually had a channel where they would have a yeah. lower third with flaming bars running across and all <laughs> just to what you think is absolutely right no, i think so, it's a huge problem yeah. a major chunk of hindi news channels today in the afternoon yeah. actually have a entertainment band because that's where the numbers come from right but i completely agree with you on the fact that yeah. doordarshan is serious mm-hmm. it's news it's credibility that matters how do you tackle a public perception that doordarshan is actually a government mouthpiece that's a perception right people will always have the perception so whichever party is in power will control what dd do that what dd says right so, so how do you control that perception doordarshan is run by an autonomous body that is prasar bharti right there is a board which determines and which governs the actions of doordarshan and all india right. radio is it and the fair board to ask as a citizen of india that you are actually autonomous on editorial Why is it a fair assumption why not brilliant okay why not okay absolutely see if you look at the the, the news content that we have in doordarshan how many people will give you the news in most indian languages coming from le from ladakh from kashmir yeah. Yeah. from jammu Yeah. we have our and and from the uh, you know the interior areas northeast border areas yeah. credible news which is coming yeah. how many people would give you even the coverages in those areas i think so we are as if you are in the public service you are the only ones in the public we service we are not people who would you know kind of just go to the metro cities and then talk to some you know correspondents and then you bring you a breaking news or sensational right. news we are people who get you the news from interior remote villages yeah. with the kind of infrastructure we have yeah. which is meaning full and impactful i am very fond of saying yeah. that yeah. so i think it is credibility and importance and the impactfulness of a particular story that matters a lot rather than anybody you know who can just be kind of reading out yeah. i think what you've said is so so right the role of news is to disseminate information in a manner that people get to know what's happening rather than sensationalizing exactly. it right exactly. the final thing which is important everyone is talking about 4k now and high definition right so uh, do we have any plans on on high definition uh, for for dd because uh, to make it competitive with the private sector do you think it is important you will be getting into high definition eventually most of my all my live telecast is in high definition do you know that brilliant so whether brilliant. it is whether it is the republic day it is 15th august you take any national event Right. it is always in hd see we recently did um, the uh, you know uh, many international conventions here right. in delhi yes. and even the private broadcasters and the public broadcasters from across the world they took the feed from us without any kind of a problem right. because we are able to do unmatched unparalleled telecast live telecast in hd so that way our telecast is already in hd but there are some challenges where our studios need to be converted into hd our uh, you know the smaller studios which are there which as i was mentioning in the conference also it requires a lot of funding so we have devised a way by which in a phased wise manner sure. we should be able to convert the version to hd but right now we have dd national which is already hd yeah we all grown up watching dd is in our dna it it is in our dna and i think it, it what you've uh, said is pretty apt you put it very rightly uh, especially on the role of news uh, on the role of rightful entertainment uh, the fact that you carry multiple languages catering to every single citizen of india i think that's fantastic i see a lot of energy in you uh, and i'm sure uh, dd Uh, we'll see new heights uh, under your leadership supriya thank you very much for thank being part so of prem talkies thank you so much yeah thank you a pleasure talking to you, you.